It's on Friday Football Fever. Brought to you by Arizona Health Exercise Equipment. Give me the ball. Busy on him. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, give Miranda High School players the ball, and the Tigers will probably put it in the end zone. How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Welcome to the Friday Football Fever. Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Caller. We'll check in with Ari Alexander in just a bit. Last Friday was considered week zero, and now in week one, all the teams from Southern Arizona were back in action, smacking helmets on the football field. So let's get right into it. It was a tough opening night for Mountain View, having to host mighty South Point this evening in Miranda. First quarter, South Point Lancers up 7-0 and running back to John Robinson McLeod is doing it and doing it and doing it well. He is about to rumble for 57 yards to make the score. South Point 14, Mountain View 0. Under the second quarter we go, South Point's up 17-0 and how about the long bomb? 51 yards later, it is another touchdown. South Point is cruising and the Lancers win big, 34-0. Lancers move to 2-0. Toro High was opening its season at home against east side rival Sabino. They are so fired up, the Cougars sacked themselves. Ouch. That's kind of how things went for the Cougars all night. Here's Sabino quarterback Alex Bell feels the pressure, so he will tuck it away and take it up the middle himself, spin it and grin it all the way to the end zone. 35 yards later at 7-0 Sabino and Still in the first quarter, Alex Bell will air it out again to Will Offerman. First goal save the Cats, and Alex will answer the bell again. This time, Bell hits Isaiah Smother. That's a touchdown. Sabino's on a roll and cruises to a 41-13 victory. With Jay Campos moving up the administration ladder, new Sabino coach Ryan McFrayer seems to have the Sabercats continuing strong. All right, now from the Far East to an unfamiliar site for high school football, we are talking the Kino Sports Complex. Here's Ari Alexander. Tucson High's Gridley Field was damaged by monsoon rains and still hasn't recovered, so that means the home of Major League Soccer preseason training, FC Tucson, is also the site of high school football tonight. But the cheerleaders from Tucson High felt right at home and this game is the Tucson High Badgers would go against Mountain Ridge tonight and we're going to start this game with a punt return from Tucson High's Octavius Thomas and Thomas will put the Badgers in good field position for that Tucson Badger offense. Badgers still working the kinks out though and Jesus Montano will have to fall on the fumble. Tucson will be forced to punt. That would set up Mountain Ridge's Aaron Fannin steal, and he is headed right into your living room. So get the nachos out of the way. He is going to knock them over. Tucson gets it back, and Montano will throw it to Daniel Solomon for the touchdown pass. Badgers get the lead. They wouldn't give it up. They get the win. Final score 24 to 14. Tucson High gets the win. We're going to go even further north. I don't really know. I'm not very good at uh, Cardinal Directions. To Marana, where the Tigers host the Sienega Bobcats in the battle of two top quarterbacks. Second quarter down 3 0. Marana, the fake punt run. And they're going to have to measure it. And that says Marana first down. That'll set this up. Trenton Borgay, a slip screen to Tion Simmons. And Simmons is gone. 64 yard touchdown, 7 to 3. Marana takes the lead in the second quarter, and he's got a message. Give me the ball. And we knew Jamari Joyner would do something when he has the ball. Fourth and two, Joyner, enough time in the pocket to make himself an avocado toast. And then he is going to run around the end and continue up the field. That is the Arizona commit. Joyner inside the 10. Couple of snaps later, it is touchdown. Jamari Joyner, final score, Sienega in a thriller. 57 to 50, and back at Mountain View, a little parking lot action, check it out. There are hundreds of cars in every high school parking lot on Friday night, but not many like these. This is our first car show of the year, and uh, we hope to have at least, I don't know, a couple, a couple more, a couple more. Yeah. Um, but we actually have students' cars that uh, they just they work on and and uh, with their families and finish. Mountain View High's Auto Club has kids putting in hours, finding them and fixing them so they can display them on Football Friday. Our auto shop is a career and technical education class. So um, this is part of part of our community here at Mountain View. Kevin Gonzalez is quite proud of his old Chevy Nova, a car he put 900 hours into remodeling. This is the original paint on it. 
Original seats, original body, vinyl top is custom. And he turned it into a beauty. Well, this car right now has about $15,000 in it. Which means sometimes the show isn't on the field. It's in the parking lot in Marana. Ari Alexander, News for Tucson. Hey, thanks a lot, Ari. Now let's cruise our way into another matchup for bragging rights in Cochise County. We are talking the rivalry game between Bisbee and Douglas High School. Get this, the two squads have matched up 147 times since 1906. It is one of the oldest rivalries in the nation. And as you can see, the crowds continue to be animated as the teams go toe to toe every year. It is all about border Southwest bragging rights with the winner getting his name etched into the copper pick. And early on, it'd be Douglas coming through. That was Christian Estrella bulldozing forward. And then to put it into the end zone to put Douglas up 7-0. Later, Bisbee's Tony Samaniego, the quarterback, will find his man for the first down. Hard to read the Bisbee numbers. After that, he is going to go long once again. Samaniego airs it out. And oh yeah, that's a completion. Into the fourth quarter, last look, it was 22-21. Bisbee. All right, on to Flowing Wells High School where the Caballeros host of Buena High out of Sierra Vista. And check out quarterback Dylan Allison about to air it out to Nicholas Anderson. And then a fight for the ball. Possession goes to the receiver. The player was called back for offensive pass interference anyway. Later with two minutes left, fourth down, Allison throws to Nicholas Anderson. But again, Brian Reels from Buena breaks up the play. The Colts win 14-7. All right, we're far from over with after the break. More sports in addition to a Southside showdown along the Santa Cruz River between Pueblo and Sunnyside. Ampa and Choya will also duke it out. Plus, we'll head to Arizona Stadium as the Cats gear up for NAU. That's right. It was the Beanie Bowl tonight and meet the team night at the U of A. We'll have much more with Coach Rich Rod and his boys as the Friday football fever rocks on.